What's up guys, today we are watching episode 3 of Wolfpack. So, last episode a lot actually ended up happening, like I'm pretty sure it was a full moon and you know, everyone was really hallucinating different shit, it was kind of hard to tell what was like really happening, what was not happening. And not only that, but we also found out that Connor was a werewolf, or like you know, turning into one, but he didn't actually get to fully do it because he was killed by the wolf and you know I was kind of sad because I mean we didn't even really get to see much of Connor but I also thought it would be pretty cool to have like another one of them but I guess it just wasn't meant to be for him but since he's like the first one dead we know it's definite even though they already mentioned it that the wolf was going to be going after like well is he going to go after what's his name, Harlan and Luna, and Luna too, or is the wolf just gonna go after Everett and Blake? I don't know. Now I'm curious about that, and I want to find out, so let's get into the episode. What are they looking for? You can see all the candies on this side. How many times have you been up here? Once or twice. Is this safe? Nope. What do you think? There's a hundred signs out there telling us not to come in. No, you just went in anyway. So they just got a good ass view of the uh, forest fire. It's so wild that it's still like going on. Like, is that gonna be going on for the whole series? Like the whole season at least? I know who it was. You know who set the fire? Well, I have a theory. If it was definitely someone on the bus. Well, it wasn't me. No one's talking about you, Tia. Literally no one ever talks about you. God damn. Well, shit. And they're not gonna fucking know, so which one of them is gonna die? Unless it just turns them to kill them too. Get scrat are you gonna get scratched or not? Oh, shit. The fuck shared their location. If I don't cut. want my parents call the cops to find no me. Shit. So then why go, man? Like you just fucked it up for them. Like, sorry, but you should have stayed home. Please shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what were they doing there? Everett, you need to shut up. Stop talking, stop moving, stop everything. Keep your fucking mouth shut. God damn, Harlan, so aggressive. Getting arrested. Then how about you call our parents? Shit, my parents? Once we get there, how about you call them yourself? I think they're gonna kill me. Okay, Everett, take this. Everett needs something. He's definitely freaking out too much, but understandably. What was the fucking point of that? It was a good moment and you ruined it. Is one of the eyes glowing? Or is she just thinking about it because of her hallucination? It's Luna, right? Let's get this over with. Yeah, wait. Get it over with so she can go home. We haven't even, like, seen her fucking dad yet. Keep moving. You got a problem? Just you. Sit down. What did he even fucking do? 
You're just being a dick at that point. About the fire? You know they think it's one of us. What'd you tell them? That I think it was you. Hey, Harlan. Steal anyone's boyfriend lately? Just yours. <laughs> but it's like, I just, I just don't understand why they would think it was Blake. Like, yeah, shit happened to her, but does she also seem like a person that would play with fire? I don't think so. Hey, did you tell them? I told them what? What you saw on the highway. I didn't see shit. What do you mean you didn't see shit? That shit dragged you. Unless you're just too scared to. That guy? That's your type? Fuck off. <laughs> So she has a crash on him. It's a white noise machine. Keep the distractions out. I know. My therapist uses one. Mine too. So she sympathizes with him. Must have been in quite a hurry. What do you mean missing? No one can seem to find him and he's not answering his phone. In other words, missing. Dead, I think. Can you tell me what you guys were doing there? Same thing everyone does there. We were smoking. Smoking what? Weed. How often do you smoke? Like, barely ever. Oh god, he's gonna get caught in his lie. You were smoking an edible. Everett, just say that we smoked and you took an edible. Fucking please. <sighs> Oh my god. So the fact that he heard him. I can hear you too. Holy shit. You can hear what I'm saying right now. So can I. Oh my god. I'm so confused. So it's like Harlan and Luna have been werewolves since they were younger. So it's like they've never experienced like that kind of hearing. Is there a reason Connor might not want to be found? Everett, forget about Connor. Answer the question so we can get the hell out of here. Who are you talking to? His imaginary friend. Talk to me. I want a lawyer. <sighs> Shit, Everett. You're not under arrest. Okay, fine, then I, I want to talk to my parents. <laughs> you were just having a panic attack about your parents hasn't existed in 10,000 years. Okay, well, I'm not worried about a saber-toothed tiger. What are you worried about, Everett? A wolf coming and killing him. Let's go. Get your... Hey! <laughs> you just assault on a blimp. My... God, it's like, what is that man's fucking problem? Or we will have a conversation about assault. Hell yeah. They can't get away with this shit. You're coming home, right? It's the weekend, Dad. No, I'm obviously not coming home. Oh no, is that wolf thing? Is the wolf gonna, like, get her... Spider. Dad, I got a flat tire. I think someone slashed it. I'm coming to pick you up. <gasps> Other one just went out too. I just want to know how that big ass thing is staying so like Invisible, like how it's not being seen. Phoebe, what's going on? Dad, the tires are flat. Which ones? <gasps> All of them now. My lawyer. Fine, call him in. Her. And unless they're charging someone with a crime, they're free to go, right? Not if we arrest them. Mr. Briggs, we were just asking the kids a couple questions. They were kind enough to volunteer. Why? Mr. Briggs? Because... Mr. Briggs? Because they're like us. 
So now he's in on the loop of them also being wolves now. Whatever the two of you saw on the highway, whatever bet you, came after me too. So then it possibly could be Harlan and Luna's actual father, mother. I think it is the dad, like they were talking about. Was it our real father? Didn't answer. Okay. So maybe, yeah. Just might not have anything to do with the fire. Well, maybe you should have pushed harder. Five minutes in a room with them? I'd have had a confession. I just don't understand your problem, bro. Like, literally, they did nothing to you. Speaking of pushing, if I see you so much as lay a hand on one of those kids again, you're on the task force. Period. Forget you, dude. But we could hear each other. Like, we could all hear each other. You mean the way Harlan can hear? It's like we were sharing it. It's because we're... So only Harlan was able to use his hearing shit. No one else? They're gonna turn into actual werewolves. Like grow fangs and hair and run around in the woods and kill some fucking deer? If they do, let's hope that's all they kill. Y'all aren't alone. Technically. He's not answering. Hmm? He's not answering. I can't wait any longer. I gotta go see if I can find him. So she was just imagining it. Shit, so that hallucination shit's still happening. I don't want to be anywhere near Danny. So, you're starting to believe all this now? No. She's just also in denial, just like Harlan, so they are kind of more like... Why is she calling me? Because she doesn't have a phone. You didn't really slash her tires, did you? How could she? She's been here the whole time. That's what I'm saying. She's been with them the whole time. Like, the fuck? Don't ask. You slept with her boyfriend in her own house? He said don't ask. Eric Blake. <laughs> So they're watching them? Or is it just that one cop? It's just the one cop. Is he gonna hear that heartbeat out there? Good for her. He's strong. How strong? Oh no, is he gonna test it? It's kinda gross. Yeah. Can be. Wait, so is it like we each have one ability? That's what I was just thinking. Like, they each had one ability. You hear something? No. You smell something? There's something out there. Yeah, that cop dude. Harlan said he didn't even hear anything, so I guess like he didn't hear no heartbeat or anything. I thought something was just about to break down the fucking door. I'm pretty sure the werewolf wouldn't bother knocking before he comes to rip us apart. You could be right. can't come in. That's fine by me. Let's talk out here. Five minutes, guys. That's all I need. Come on, open the door. Um, no thank you. Goodbye.
he seems too sketchy for no, like, I don't understand. Is it another hallucination? Are you still feeling it? So he was have. Oh, it was him that time that had the hallucination. Did you set the fire? I told you. I don't know anything about Let's try it. that again. Did you set the fire? Literally, he didn't do anything. Fuck. Truth! Is something gonna be out there? Okay then, thank you. The one time you help. That one. It's in the stable. But the rifle's in the gun case in the office. This one is different. I'll explain later. It's in the supply cabinet in the stable, all right? Is it like to shoot metal, silver? Does does that still work in this universe? Like it it could be different. I just automatically assumed. Don't leave the house. Who are you? You're almost safe. The moon has passed its peak. Are you watching us? Is it still trying to kill us? Don't leave the house. I just want to know who that is on the phone. I'm surprised dude isn't dead. Or maybe just not dead yet. What's up with her and horses, bro? Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Okay. Well, it wasn't smart to leave the house. So he was backing away and then got shot. Or got shot at, at least. Why'd he start backing away though if he was trying to kill them? Maybe that's not what it wants. So then, what was the other thing talking about? Well, why would he try and kill us at Blake's house? And now it just takes off? Because they're with them? I thought it was just because they were with Harlan and Luna. These are silver. Real silver. Yeah, for protection for himself. You made these? Yes. To kill werewolves? He's not saying you, but if us. he had to. Maybe that wasn't the right answer. So he made the bullets to kill them, like in case, like that's what I'm guessing. Cause I'm pretty sure he made them probably around the time he found them, which was a long time ago, but it's like, it also came in handy now. 
because like yeah he made them but then he sooner or later probably just didn't he decided not to use them because like he wasn't threatened by them I guess but it's like you never know when something else is going to come in so it still comes in handy that he still has them but it's just like it's kind of shitty that they found out that way that he had it and like why he made it but I mean you can't blame the man he's he's human like dealing with supernatural children like you need something but I'm surprised we barely found out anything about Connor this episode like I'm still just assuming he's dead because it's like they never but then it's like they never showed a dead body but I just automatically assumed since like we heard screams and shit but like maybe he is still alive maybe not but I'm just really curious as to who who the one is, like, calling them on the fucking phone. Like, why can't they just reveal that yet? Like, I guess I get it. It's like the whole fucking mystery shit. But it's like, does the werewolf ever turn human? Because I don't want to say it, like, why would the werewolf, like, help itself, I guess? Like, I don't think it would be the werewolf but it's also like I don't know how it's working you know I'm still figuring out how this universe of werewolves work but I did guess that they still used silver so that's a pro but it's still so weird how it's like I thought each of them would have like all of the heightened senses but it's just like Harlan only has the hearing. Luna has the smelling, you know? Like, Everett has the fucking strength. I, did, I thought, like, they would all get that combined. But I guess if they are a pack, then it will combine. Since that's what happened in, like, the police station. Like, they can all hear each other. And, like, that definitely came in handy. Because, I mean, Everett needed help. <laughs> he was freaking out. And it's, like, not that I blame him, but... He needed help, definitely. But that cop in this episode just pissed me off. It's like, they did nothing to that man. And he was literally so aggressive to our, towards Harlan. Like, why? He wasn't aggressive towards Everett, Blake, or Luna, but only towards Harlan. So it's like, why? Pissed me off. But I mean, at least we don't have to deal with him anymore. Because the damn wolf killed him. But then that's another thing. Why didn't the wolf kill, like, all of them whenever it was, like, he was there with them all. And, like, yeah, they could help each other fight him off. But it's, like, I didn't think, like, would they be strong enough to fight him off and, like, possibly kill the wolf? I don't know. But I'm just still trying to guess as to why he didn't, like, at least attempt to. But I guess we'll find out more in the other episodes, so I guess come back for episode four. <laughs>